show, everyone. As all of you know, I, ta I, I let people talk about themselves. Who doesn't like to talk about themselves? And you get to talk about what you do. And I've been doing this a long time for everybody. I'm really excited about bringing on my first guest. I mean, I know she's on fire. And uh, I know you all know her. And her, and I'm going to say it before she even comes on. You know, if you've heard Solar Sandy, there's a lot of reasons why to call still. Because a lot of things change in oh, her I business on a news. daily basis. And if you haven't heard her... You got to listen up, everybody. Welcome to the show, Sandy. Hi, Carol. So you got you're all over the place, right? Now. I have, this is my third radio show today. My goodness. <laughs> so tell everybody a little bit about you know why you're on so fire much right much fire right now. I've been on a mission for a little over five years, and it all started with my daughter's power bill that was over five hundred dollars, and I had a bad accident, and I was on Social Security disability, so I couldn't help her pay her power bill. So like any mom and a grandma, you try to figure out solutions to help your children your kids and I knew nothing about solar I didn't know how much it cost I didn't even know how it worked now I do and most people don't and you've been doing this most now for people. several years but here's the a thing long, I want everybody time. to understand this solar Sandy is you she works for you she's your advocate out there she's mm -hmm. your advocate so I um, because I didn't do this back then a little over five years ago um, I called three companies and you know they were just in such a rush to get my daughter to sign up for solar panels and I said slow down um, this is going to be the power source on my daughter's house I want to make sure this is a solution and I'm not creating an issue for her she already has an issue with the power bill but I don't want to create another issue for her so the first two gentlemen I disqualified them and you know as I was listening to them and their presentation and all the rest of it I realized this was a math equation and being that I was a, a nurse a registered nurse back in the day when I was nursing we didn't have smartphones we we had to do mathematical calculations the old-fashioned way no not by calculator we did it longhand so on a pen, pad of paper and a pen so back in the day you know before we gave medication administered medication to our patients we had to know people's body weight, height, and body mass because if you gave the wrong dosage of medication, it was our license on the line, not the doctor's. So I've done quite a lot of math in my day. So I sat down and I looked at this the exact same way. This was a formula. And how much power did she use over the last 12 months? And that was one number. And what was she still going to buy from the power company? Because at nighttime, the panels weren't going to be producing any electricity. She was going to have to buy some from the power company. What rate was that going to How much was that going to be? And how, what was the rate that it was going to be sold to her at? So that was another number. So I did this formula. And I did it on a yellow pad of paper and sitting at the kitchen table. And I checked my numbers I checked them twice I checked them quite a number of times and I came up with this formula for my daughter's home and the third gentleman said I've never done it this way and I said probably not because you're not a mom and a grandma that if this doesn't work you can't afford to pay your own daughter's power bill let me tell you if you ever met solar sandy which I know a lot of you people out there have because I'm seeing solar panels all over the place now <laughs> and <clears throat> for good reasons but you're gonna know why because you are you're all about it being done properly right. it's a formula it's a formula and so if it's if it's done correctly you're going to have the maximum savings and the maximum benefits of producing your own power PYOP produce your own power and pay less for it and putting more of your hard-earned money back in your own pocket is what this is all about we all need power there's no ifs ands or buts about it we live in Arizona and um, you know whether it's winter or summertime we are going to use the electricity we use a lot more of it in the summertime so uh, there's no question that we're going to pay a certain amount of money over a period of years for power the average home in Arizona over the next 20 to 25 years just using an average amount of electricity and I'm not even saying living comfortably in your own home is going to spend between 80 to 100 thousand dollars on power and I know that sounds people go oh that's ridiculous because APS and SRP will continue to increase rates year after year and there is no ifs ands or buts about it we will pay more next year than 
than we're paying today for our power. And I'm going to talk about that in just a little minute. Um, I had a meeting with one of the board of directors of one of the electric companies that I can't mention, but it's one of the two big electric companies here in Arizona that gave me some inside information, and that's what I've done, Carol. I've gone out and I've, I wouldn't say made friends, but I've, I've made contacts in this industry, you know, the power industry, and become an advocate for homeowners so that I know when I'm in homes talking to my families that I'm giving them correct and accurate information. You say it changes every day. We're, that's a little bit extreme, but I, I appreciate your saying that. This changes all the time and if you don't stay on top of what's going on with the power companies and the rates and the new rate plans and what is going on in, in, in your power company's rate plans um, first of all you're, you're going to be very frustrated because you, again you're using the same amount of electricity this year that you were last year and you're most likely paying more and there's some people that have had that are using less electricity than they were last year and they're paying more because of these new rate plans and so the information that I got yesterday APS has another increase coming August 1st um, it will be an unpublished rate increase um, on the left hand side of our bills we have all these fees taxes surcharges and we think that they're federal state imposed no a lot of them are the power companies whatever they want to call them they're just another way to increase our, our, our rates with an unpublished rate increase so the APS people this is absolutely the best time of year to do this because the bills that I've provided um, are people that have worked with me, Carol. I don't just give fictitious numbers out and, oh, maybe it's going to save you this or maybe it's going to save you that. The families that work with me, um, no, I know what I'm, I'm talking about because I've got the actual proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the bills. I've got them right here. This one here is negative $412. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're going backwards. I'm sorry. So, so Bev and Mike, who worked with me since last year, right around this time, maybe just a little bit later in the year, like maybe in February, um, they went solar with me. Their solar panels went on their roof. And the very first month, their solar panels produced extra power that the power company APS bought from them and they have a monetary credit of over 400 and some odd dollars. It paid their APS bill because they're still going to have to buy some power at nighttime and they still had a $352 credit on their, their May bill and then that next month, May or June, I'm sorry, so that May bill they, they owed nothing to the power company and they um, they still had a $350 credit that rolled forward and then their bill next month June was paid and they still had a 400 they had a, that month they had a $488 credit and July Mike calls me and says Sandy am I reading my bill right do I really have $508 owed to me by APS I said you certainly do and I heard Bev in the background going woohoo because mm -hmm. she they're retired they're home now they're home they spend a lot more time at home they're retired so they didn't want to have to live uncomfortably un unaffordably in their own home so go to my website which is asksolarsandy.com make sure you go to asksolarsandy.com because there's a lot of people out there trying to imposter her now they can imposter me but no one can you believe me they can't but here's the thing this is what she's saying we're going to go to a break soon because we're going to come back and talk further each month it gets equivalent it goes more and more and more yeah, by and the they, end of the year and then they got a check back from APS they get a check back from APS it's a great time to do it uh, look at it we're already in February look at how fast it goes and it, like I've said before if you've heard solar sandy call her because there's t things that have changed even if you've gotten uh, you know uh, if, solar you've met, panels if, you've, if you've met with me before meet with me if you haven't got solar panels with me meet with me again because and save you. if you haven't heard her you're gonna want to hear and listen Our, her number to call <laughs> is what's your phone number six two three eight five zero eight two two nine and uh, go to my website ask solar sandy.com
Welcome back, everyone. And yeah, we're talking with Solar Sandy, and I know a lot of people have uh, heard her before. But there's, there's a, a good reason. That, there's a lot of people that haven't. There is, that's the thing is, it's always new people that listen to the show, turn in. They're all live on Facebook right now. Hi to everybody. Like us, follow us. There's all sorts of people that are listening to us from everywhere. It's so important, Carol. I mean, I really, you know, I couldn't go back to nursing because of my injuries. And I felt that, I mean, I helped my daughter's whole community go solar. And I wasn't doing it as a making a living from it or anything. I did it to help more families put more of their hard-earned money in their own pockets versus the power companies. These are monopolies that are making millions and millions of dollars dictating how comfortably or how affordably we live in our own home. And when most people sit down with me and once they understand that they're producing their own kilowatts up on their own roof and they're now paying between seven and a half and eight and a half cents per kilowatt when you're working with me and you break it down and you see that you're saving 50 percent off your overall power costs it just makes sense it just makes sense. I mean, and then people have lots of questions that there's, you know, there's people that knock on your doors. There's people that email you. There's people that call you. And we all are looking for ways to save money. We're all looking at ways to be more comfortable in our own home because we're going to use electricity. So if we want to be comfortable and we turn that thermostat down in the summertime, we know we're going to have a higher bill or we want to live affordably and we're now we're going to be uncomfortably. So people are wanting this information and I just break it down really simply and I have the formula that works APS formula works SRP formula works it's a little different in SRP but I have a formula that works to help my families in SRP as well so it's about sending in your filling out your kilowatt worksheet it only literally takes five minutes if that and if somebody has a problem filling out a kilowatt worksheet you can call I'll help you with it you go in you get all your your bills out or you go online and get the amount of kilowatts that you've used over the last 12 months enter that in onto the kilowatt worksheet then that gives me a starting place to know what you need to replace that power because I want you to have all the power you need your daytime power your nighttime power and a little extra and I'll tell you why because everybody that goes solar the whole reason that you're going solar is so that you can live more comfortably and more affordably in your own home so even though people have told me oh we like it at our we, we're fine with our thermostat at 80 you know when people don't have to have the thermostat at 80 when it's 115 degrees out they won't have the thermostat at 80. So I want you to have a little bit of extra power. And again, remember you're selling it back to APS. APS is buying it. You're producing it on your roof for let's say seven and a half, eight and a half cents and they're buying it for 11.6. So you're making money on every kilowatt you sell to APS. And at nighttime on the correct rate plan, you're going to be making money on every single one of those kilowatts. And that's why my formula works. So she does a free no obligation consultation and she comes to you. She loves to come to you and talk to you. Number one, I think everybody should know how to read their bill absolutely and we've said this so many times because we all know we don't know how to read it <laughs> I mean we don't even look at it we you might get at you it. might get angry once I show you how to read your bills because there's some really awful things on that left hand side of the bill that it's going to make you mad and when you go solar producing your own power on your own roof a lot of those fees taxes and surcharges they go down per the percentage of the power that you're buying you still remember at nighttime we still need to buy a little bit of power from the power company but those those fees taxes and surcharges go down considerably so it will make you less mad but your solar panels are producing the power and paying those so you're not going to be at all mad anymore because, no, because you're not you, paying it and that's yeah. what you're there for and she'll explain it to you go up on her website and check it out it's ask solarsandy.com fill out the kilowatt worksheet that's what it's there call her leave a message because she can talk to you and tell you how she can save you a money on a bill that you're already paying way too much money on in her august in august it's going up again in august it's going up again her number is 623-850-8229 call and talk to her because there's no reason right now we're going to turn around there's going to be a hike up in august oh. we're going to turn around and it's hot we have our bills that are going to be the air is going to be on through september october we know this absolutely and and the other thing Harold, this year most every automaker is coming out with electric vehicles we're seeing
seeing that a lot. I just was with a family that bought a Tesla vehicle. This uh, they bought it at Christmas time, and they were asking me about the battery. I said, don't 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 buy a Tesla battery. I am finding the battery that's going to be able to run your AC and do all the things that a battery should do. Don't buy a battery at this point. Your solar system with me will be battery ready, but um, don't buy a battery at this time. I'm going to find the battery that's going to be the perfect one to we have to tell them about your, your before we go I was just thinking about the, the I know this is important but I want you to talk about your special that you're doing right now okay well we'll get to that hang on I, you got me on three I things just forgot. <laughs> you got me going three different directions here so electric vehicles think about it so uh, Brian and Sarah are charging their electric vehicle off peak APS off peak well when everybody starts getting electric vehicles more people are going to be using power off peak guess what APS is going to do then I get up again so it's like the more power we use the power company knows that we're going to use it they're going to charge us more for it another thing that I learned in this lunch with one of the board of directors of one of the big power companies yesterday can't say the name of them and I can't say the name of the power company but he's his father was on the board of directors for 50 years and he's been on the board of directors for 22 years so this is very credible information APS um, basically the Gila Bend plant that's a negative for them they're charging APS customers more to pay for their deficit at the Gila Bend plant I think that's wrong but if you're an APS what are you gonna do unplug your refrigerator and use no power of course not that's not even reasonable so these are the things that I go out and find out about SRP seven years ago didn't want anybody going solar so they stopped a certain program program over there they made it very difficult well that's we figured out how to get around their their difficulty and there's a there's a formula and a program that I can get you 75 to 80 percent off of a, a SRP that you're now living more comfortably and more affordably in your home question I you know people need to understand that you don't work for solar company that I this don't. is something that makes you different I work for my families I am there as your energy consultant, your energy advocate, your energy expert, so to speak. Um, my daughter, thank goodness, uh, you know, my daughter called me when she, her power bill was so high. Uh, I almost say it's a blessing that I wasn't able to pay it because it's led me down this, this road to be um, an advocate helping you pay your power bills, power costs less. Um, but if she hadn't had me, she would have possibly been a bad solar story had those first two guys gotten a hold of her because she was desperate to save money on her power bills and they made it sound, oh, it was just delightful, but if it had been done by either of those two, she would have possibly been paying more than she was paying the power company because she wouldn't have had all her power needs covered by her solar panel. Here's the other thing. It's not a cookie cutter thing where no. you just call in any company and say, hey, come on in my house and sh I, I want to go solar. Each house is different. You could be living next door to somebody. And 2,000 they, and square foot. Yeah, 2,000 square foot house. Exactly. Side by side. Uses completely different power. Has t completely different power usage. It is not a cookie cutter thing. And there's a lot of companies out there that are not up on the new rate plans. And they are not putting people on the right rate plans with going solar. So I, I tell you, it's really important to sit down and talk to me. She's the secret sauce. I am the she secret sauce. She is the secret Thank sauce. You, she is what makes it what anything else different yeah. and she's there to work for you really quickly because we only have a couple of minutes will you please tell them about your uh the, your drawing. The power of giving okay so the power of giving so carol you know my story i lost everything after my accident and i was not in a good way so solar literally gave me an ability to help my daughter but it's i've, I've gave literally you a life gave me my life back and it, with a sense of purpose and passion so this year um, any of my families that have solar panels um, that will be eligible to have their solar panel payments made by me for one whole entire year. Anybody that signs up with me between now and February 28th, there's a drawing on March 16th, and two families will have their solar panel payments made by me for one entire year. Say that three times. Try that one. <laughs> not, after not three radio shows. After three radio shows. So it's the power of giving. Um, it's my way of saying thank you to 
you know? to everyone out there because you know what I see them all over the place uh, and right now th we live in Arizona here I mean it's hot in, in Hawaii year, but it's not as hot here that's a year without having to pay your basically your power bills so so you know why don't you go up on her website check it out it's ask solarsandy.com fill out the kilowatt worksheet that's all you have to do and I'll be live at the Phoenix Open on Wednesday broadcasting a live show from the Phoenix Open so if you're out at the Phoenix Open next week Wednesday between 12 and 1 I will be there live I'd love to meet you check her out it's asksolarsandy.com and ca call her she will talk to you she's going to save you on a bill that you're already paying way too much money on P -Y -P. her number is 623-850-8229